We're now going to talk about how we graph power functions. And to graph power functions, what we need to do is first look at the function, and then we're able to use it. So we're going to start with just a couple of examples. Suppose that we want to graph f of x equals x squared. Well, because it's even, that means on the right side it's going to be going positive, and on the left side it's going to be going positive. And so we can start at 0, 0, and then we just get a couple of points, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 2, 4, and 9, and we get our x squared. And notice this is symmetrical over the y-axis. Well, if I were to follow up with g of x equals x cubed, well, this is going to be positive on the right, but it's going to be negative on the left because it's an odd power function. So it starts with 0, 0 again, 1, 1, and 2, 8. But it's going to go on the opposite side, negative 1, negative 1, and negative 2, 8, which is going to give me this sort of curved graph right here. All right, let's do h of x equals x to the fourth in green. And again, this is going to be positive, positive. And it's going to go to this point again. But 2 is actually 16, which is way up here. And notice it's getting a little bit less, but then it shoots way up real fast. So it takes longer to get to 1, 1. But once it does, it really starts taking off quickly. So again, it's positive on both sides. And then let's do j of x equals x to the fifth. And this one's going to be even smaller. But it's going to be positive on the right and negative on the left. And it's still going to go through these three points the same. But here, it's going to be hugging very closely. And then it's going to sit, and then it sits out, and then it shoots right down. And there's my x to the fifth. But the main thing I want you to get from graphing power functions is this end behavior coded by color so that you can see it better. But this helps us keep track of which graph and how this graph is going to look as it goes.